want to put the whole income statement together first and then start manipulating the ordering so that you know that you got to the proper bottom line number and you're not then trying to figure out what you missed uh, when you're when you're trying to reorder things you know so you might want to get to the balance first and then go back in and clean some stuff up in such a way that you know you're not going to be out of balance once in balance so now we're going to go back down again we're going to say the cost of goods sold is going to be the next item here cost of the goods that are sold important for inventory related related companies i'm going to put this in the outer column this is going to be equal to that expense account of the 45 whoops i missed it i put the skinny that's the skinny column with nothing in it not the skinny we're taking the 45954 enter there we have that that's going to give us the gross the gross profit this is gross profit i want profit that's not gross I don't know why the news popped up there. This we get this minus the forty-five nine forty-five. We'll put up a underline here. So there we have it. And then we're gonna get we're gonna say these are gonna be the other the other operating. Op, I think I haven't been putting capitals in this operating expenses. Maybe I should put a colon at the end of it. Now you might want to start off by just pulling over all of the expenses in the same order. And then we can get into kind of adjusting them. So that'll be the, maybe that'll be the easiest thing to do. Let's say this is equal to, and then we'll pick up the bank, the bank service charges. And then I'm just going to autofill down till we get to utilities, not including these last two, because that's going to go into another category. So enter. And then I'm going to say this equals 